Alright you guys, got another Windows repair video on how to fix you don't currently have permission to access this folder on Windows 10, Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 7. You can see here we're getting the error message you don't currently have permissions to access this folder. Now it's quite a simple uh, fix to do once you know how. It's a permissions issue and I'll show you how to do it and I'll show you all the steps that you need to take uh, to fix this issue. Now you can either do it on the actual particular folder or you can do it on the user account or you can do it on the drive itself. So I'll show you a few uh, areas of which you can do and I'll show you all the steps here. So let's go into File Explorer here and go into this PC. Now we're on a Windows 10 machine here but you'll be the same for Windows 7, or Windows 8 or 8.1. Now I'm going to right click on the drive itself and go to Properties here and inside here you'll see a little tab called Security. Go into there and uh, click on that. Now what we need to do here is click Edit and uh, what you want to do here is come down uh, to where you see uh, Add, click on Add. Now inside here what you want to do is click on Advanced here, move up and you can see now we have another box that's popped open saying Select Users and Groups. Click on Find Now and drill down and look for everyone. Now what this is going to do is give permission to everyone on this computer. Now there's other ways of going about it like doing just one person but if you want to do everyone this is the one that you need to do. So it'll be everyone on this computer. You click OK here and then once you click OK you want to give you everyone full control and modify here. Okay. And this will be for everyone on this system, on this computer. Click apply and then you will see you're about to change permissions on the root directory of the startup disk. This can reduce the security of your computer and cause users to have problems accessing files. Do you want to continue? Well they won't have problems because we've given full control. So you want to say yes here. And uh, once you say yes you can go ahead and you will get another box which will probably pop up an error but don't worry about that just say continue and continue again just keep continuing this here and it gives you full control of the computer so that's one way of going about doing it click OK here OK again and then restart your computer now another thing you can do is go into the C drive and go into users and then go to properties Inside here you'll see another tab up the top called security. You want to click on this tab here and then what you want to do is go edit. Inside here you will see user accounts. Now you may have user accounts inside here but what you can do is go to uh, advanced here. Click on advanced and then what we're going to do is search for users on here. Now go find now, same thing, we're going, what we're going to do here is drill down and we're going to look for the user account that you want to give permission to. So for instance Brytek, you can see here, I'm going to click OK here, it's now listed me up, up here and put an underline on there. Now we can click on that account and give it full control and click apply and OK. And this will give that user full control of the computer. So just make sure that you've got that done and you should be okay. So if we go into here now you can see we've got access to that folder now. Now another thing that you can do is just copy these across. I just want to copy paste and read to make sure everything is running okay. So we're just going to copy it and paste this onto the desktop and I'm just going to move this into the folder just to make sure that we've got permissions to do all this stuff. And this is all due to uh, a permissions issue, that's all it is. And if you're unsure, just take your time and uh, read what you're doing and you should be okay. So let me just show you uh, some uh, permissions here that you want to make sure of. So go back into your file explorer here and then into this PC. Go back into your C drive and then right click onto users and then go to properties and then security again. Now what you're looking for here is the user accounts. You can see them here listed here now and they've got full access. Okay, Anything that you don't want full access to you can just take away full control 
and uh, and that's the way you can do it. So basically, you just want to click click on uh, the account that you want to give full control to, and then you just put the ticks in. Okay, it's pretty much that simple. Now, another thing you can do is going into the group policy editor, and I'll quickly show you that now. So what we're going to do here is go into group policy by typing GP edit in the search box down the bottom and then do .msc click on this here and this will open up the group policy editor there we go now what we want to do here is we want to go up to where it says computer configuration and go to uh, Windows settings click on this one and drop down the little arrow there go down to security settings then we want to go to local policies drop that little uh, tab down and then go to security options so in local policies go down to security options here and then drill it all the way down I'm just going to pull this down here and then what you're looking for here is user account control admin approval mode for built-in administrator account if this is enabled you want to disable this one okay so just disable this and then apply and OK. Now you will need Windows Professional and Up to do a group policy. The next one that you want to edit is a little bit further down called User Account Control. Run all administrators in admin approval. So let me just pull this down a little bit further here so you can see. And I'll highlight it so you can see it. It's just down here. There we go. And uh, you want to click on this one and you can disable this one apply an OK and restart your computer and that's pretty much it and your problem should be resolved okay anyway I hope this one helps you out guys I hope this resolves your issue if you've got any other problems you can always pop over to my forums and ask over there my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk have a great day and I'll see you again for another video real soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet Hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.